all cats and dogs in the United States made up their own nation, it would be the fifth largest consuming meat nation in the world. They emit enough carbon dioxide to equal 13.6 million cars in a year. Hmm. Well, good thing we're all vegan. So what are we gonna do with you? You're the last non-vegan in the house. I mean, the only meat we have is for you. Yeah, 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 the, the one can of tuna you eat a week, that's a lot. Let's, let's see, one can of tuna times 56 weeks means around seven kilograms of fish. That's huge. I don't know how much fish that is. Let me check. Not even a tenth of a tuna. Okay, so it's not an entire fish, but if you consider all your friends, that's too much. That's unacceptable. We're gonna have to change that. Okay, you're gonna go vegan. Yeah. joking and I wouldn't actually feed my cat a vegan diet and this is of course because cats are obligate carnivores. If we have a look at the natural diet of a cat it would mostly be small rodents and rats and basically 100% meat. Of course they do eat occasionally some grass but that is just to clear their digestive in insides. Kibble or food from tins is also not really true to their natural foods because it is a blend of animal products combined with vegetable based starches. Mainstream cat food has low quality meat which includes high amounts of disease tissue, growth hormones and antibiotics so it is not the best thing to be feeding your cat. Also feeding them milk is an old wives tale and they actually don't have um, lactase which is the enzyme you need to digest milk so they'll have bloating or diarrhea. In terms of what they need to have, there's some essential amino acids that cats need in their diet, such as taurine. So of course there are vegan cat foods out there, and there are many people who claim their cats are healthy on a vegan diet. Unfortunately, a lot of issues can be not seen very quickly, and it's a long-term effect, and generally it could stop the cat from living its full, happy, and healthy life. If your cat has scraggly fur, any skin rashes, signs of blindness, signs of weakness, fatigue, trouble urinating, or unusual behavior, please take your cat to the vet, get some help, because it might be suffering from some sort of malnutrition. If you're wondering, do I consider myself still vegan if I feed my cat meat? Yes, I do. The whole philosophy of veganism is to create the least harm possible towards animals. And my darling, Ashley, is my love of my life and I would never want to hurt her and that's why I always make sure to feed her the healthiest thing which in her case is letting her hunt a lot and then some meat-based foods. If you do really want a vegan pet just get yourself a rabbit or guinea pig. Cats are not made to eat plants.